Hi, this is a quick tutorial on projection mapping to be able to project uh, UV coordinates from one object to another uh, so that uh, maybe you've got two objects that are different. One's been unwrapped and the uh, maybe a higher res one that's already rigged uh, already has information on it that you don't want to mess with um, and it doesn't have the UV coordinates and you want to be able to project the UV coordinates over to it. It could be that you want to be able to mirror UVs, and that's easiest done in Max uh, using the symmetry modifier. But again, your character may already be rigged or something of that no uh, um, notion. And if you uh, change vertex orders, you'll break everything else you've done. So you want to be able to do it on some other object, possibly, and be able to project that data over. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use just a couple of simple spheres. So I'm just going to create a sphere here, and uh, I'm just going to set it at 0, 0. And let's just go full screen. And we're going to do it at two different res uh, spheres. So we're going to call this our low res sphere. And I'm going to leave this uh, as a, just a green color. And so this is my low res. I'm going to go control V and, and say uh, copy and call this my high res. And uh, in the high res, I'm just going to make it, uh, for instance, a red so we know the difference between them. And I'm going to crank up the amount um, to uh, double in this case. Uh, so it's doubled up the vertex count. Now these might two, be two models, of course. They'd be, probably be editable, po editable polys. And we want to be able to then go ahead and unwrap. So I'm going to isolate the uh, low res and just take a look at it from the top. Now again, what we might be in a position where we want to set up some mirrored UVs. So I'm going to grab half the model and delete it. And with half the model deleted, uh, I'm going to add an unwrap modifier. And with the unwrap modifier on there, we can go about uh, you know unwrapping this into uh, a clean piece, let's say. And so uh, I always like to start with uh, something you know really clean. So I'm going to grab all of it and just say planar map, and then um, maybe uh, grab uh, a loop here, and we'll break that in half. And so just open up the window, and I'm going to say break and grab each piece of these and just going to planar map them real quick so that we'd have the uh, the planers on there so you can see that we've got these two planar pieces now now we can do a really quick uh, for instance a quick peel on these so that the uh, they show up at a reasonable um, you know reasonably flat UVs let's say so we can project these over and again this is just for a quick example so now that I have that on there, um, let's go and uh, mirror these UVs over. So that's the um, uh, stage where now we're going to grab that and add a symmetry. So with a symmetry modifier, slice along mirror plane off because it's the evil button. Um, it'll do I'll mess with all kinds of things. Always turn that off. Uh, weld seam on with a really low threshold. And then we're going to unwrap it again above and so the unwrap above, you can see that we've got these, you know, uh, four quadrants. And if I show that now, we've got pieces on top of each other. So I'm just going to do a real quick pack on that. And then um, probably try and find some way to pack that a little bit tighter, maybe. I don't know if that's very good, but I'm not that concerned for this demo. So there's our, um, there's our unwrap um, uh, as it sits. And we're going to uh, uh, project that over. So here's our here's our final model unwrap. But what we want to have it on then is this higher res version that has more vertices in it. So in the low res version, what you want to add is a projection modifier. And the projection modifier will allow us to be able to add through the pick list the high res. So with the high res is now added to onto here. And with the high res added, we can then project from this object over onto it. So uh, we're going to have to tell it what to project. In this case, down in the uh, projection rollout, we're going to say project mapping. And we're going to uh, hit the project button when we've set up our settings. Now, our settings shouldn't have to be touched in this case. We've got map channel 1 from the original that we're on going to be projected into map channel one that we're going to be projecting into and these settings should be okay for now so we're going to say project and what you can find though is that if you don't set up your uh, cage quite far enough out it may not project properly so this is the distance that it's going to project from down to the surface so we want that cage just outside of the surface of the uh, other mesh so I'm just going to hit the project all again 
Again, let's go to the high, and you'll notice a projection, a projection holder one modifier has been added. This is holding the UVs that's, uh, that's been projected over. And just to check those, let's take a look at the unwrap modifier. And you'll see that there's four quadrants now. And if we open that up, you can see that it's actually projected over onto the higher res mesh, the same coordinate system in a reasonably clean way. You know, again, the, the more complicated it gets, the less uh, organized it's going to be. We can see an error here where a triangle's been missed out of one and placed in another. You can see kind of pieces missing where it's not completely followed uh, and, and managed to get everything lined up exactly right. Projection distance will help with that. If you, uh, if you try it at uh, lower and lower, res um, you know, closer and closer, or work with it and play with it, um, it's never going to be perfect. It's no different than projecting normals or anything else over onto a surface where it's guesswork going from unlike meshes and trying to project from one to the other. So with that on there, um, I'm going to grab just a quick texture to test it. And I'm going to use a checkerboard. And I'm not going to use real world scale. So let's use 20 by 20. And drop that on and show it realistic in the viewport. And you can see now that it has the UVs projected over in a reasonably nice way. So that's a quick way of being able to get UVs from one mesh over to the other. And again, it isn't perfect because it's, uh, you know, it's a projection.